vibration. That's the screener that you're looking at. Uh, the large material actually won't get processed through the screener. The side that I showed you was actually uh, uh, the larger, you got fines, you got larger rock, and then I'll swing it over here and you got the secondary crusher that's actually got uh, the pure iron ore. Uh, that's the gold right there. Let me see if I can kind of uh, go through the process. The first stage, you got them uh, staging the material. And you can do that with a front loader and a dozer. Uh, then the, if you look at the, uh, the area that I'm looking at where he's actually feeding the material, as simple as it might sound, that's the screen. Anything that's too big will fall off the side. And everything else that actually gets processed will actually make it through the sorter. You got three different sorts. You got one going out of the front of the machine, one to the left, and then you got the iron ore that's being driven off to the right. Uh, if you're looking at it from where I'm standing in the camera view, it looks like the letter Y. The small stuff goes out the front, the larger stuff goes to the left, and the iron ore actually comes out to the right, and it's crushed again through a secondary crusher and that's a centrifugal fast track and uh, that's the iron ore that's being deposited there and I'll try to get a close up of that. You can tell by the sound that this thing is really working uh, to crush that iron that uh, in some cases is almost close to raw metal depending on its grade. And you can see the shimmers of uh, black shiny rocks that is actually the iron ore that's being deposited on the right side. So this is the money pile. It's actually crushing some of the uh, rocks that are big enough to slide through, but the screen is not going to take anything that's too big. And he's also got to try and make sure that uh, he doesn't clog that up, so that's what he's doing, pushing him through the, through the uh, screen, the primary screen. These guys are planning to do this operation uh, 12 hours uh, shifts, uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, the crew that's working is uh, going to actually bring out uh, lights so that the operation can continue. Right now they're rolling. Uh, you just stand here and watch it for a few minutes and they go through quite a bit of uh, material. I'm standing on top of the current reserve, which is about 20,000, maybe 25,000 metric tons, and they're scheduled to bring more down uh, starting uh, this evening. Uh, this entire patio will be filled, and if you notice there's still quite a bit of room to move this. Uh, I'd say I'm probably standing about uh, 10 feet above the ground on this particular pile. Uh, but they can stack this stuff as high as uh, 20 feet tall, fill up the patio. And uh, we should be able to hold, just in this one area, uh, pretty close to uh, 200,000 metric tons. And that's just for staging purposes. Uh, but as you can see, it's, uh, that's a lot of material that's already in place. Uh, as we're speaking. They're working.